2022, a 10,000 mile, 60 day tour spanning 26 states, 14 off road destinations from May 29th to July 28th, 2022. In this episode, we cover the travel from Bantam to Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area and Roush Creek, where we wheel these premier PA off road parks with a bunch of our listeners. All right, Gary, we're leaving uh, Tyrone. Yeah, we are. Heading up the uh, Pen 99, PA 99, to going through State College here shortly. Pennsylvania State University. Look at these beautiful rolling mountains here. We'll be wheeling in some of these here tomorrow. All right, it's Camp AOAA. Here's Jerry's rig. He got in last night. Here's Jerry from Michigan. It's a nice day. There's our rig with our hammocks all set up. Huh, I wonder what that noise is. Oh, it's the Northwest Jeepcast guys. Our buddies, Nate Lager from the YouTube channel SWB Crawler and Don Bray from the Jeep Life podcast guide us on day one. And then we ended up at the far end of Fern Ridge, which is trail number 121. So I'm going to reference the trail numbers for things that I have them for. If you go, there's an app called Maprika that we have all the AOA trail maps in. Or if you just go to AOA's website, you can probably go get the, the map there. And all the trails are numbered. Some of them also have names, but any of them aren't on the map. We just kind of know them. So anyway, Trail 121 is far, it's rel It's like halfway out on the Western Reserve of AOAA. Um, and it's kind of like this M-shaped thing. And it's technically a blue trail, but it's got a bunch of black and red offshoots. So we figured this would be a perfect place to go uh, because my Jeep's only on 33. So I can run Fern Ridge. I can do it all day long, no problem. Uh, but you guys would have been bored just doing Fern Ridge. So with all these extra loops, it was kind of the perfect trail. It really was. So, it worked um, out really nice to you know have those options. And you're right. Like you know, you you hung out on the on the on the blue side, and then you sent us off to go do some you know black and red um, offshoots, and it was a ton of fun. It was really cool. I think they're both pretty gnarly. This is an ultra four, man. It is ultra four. Everything's ultra four. Everything's ultra Every four. Once you're ultra four, everything's ultra four. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as not ultra four. Yeah, I remember. I, um, I don't remember. I don't. Of course, I can't remember what they're named and such. But but you did take us to one where it, it kind of started and then it looped back behind itself on the Fern Ridge where we went up like um, a, a bit of a rock V notch and then we had to pivot off of a larger boulder. Um, I don't know if that's okay. enough to sound familiar. Yeah, is that well, so? When we first got into Fern Ridge, you guys looped off on the first black. Um, and to be honest, I didn't. I couldn't follow you because you were like a ultra four on your way up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, but I, I think stair step is up there and I don't know if you guys did it or not. 
it doesn't there should be like a couple of ledges you have to climb. Games. But um, there were again, I wasn't there up there were, to see you guys. So yeah, there were. I I got there was intermixed black and red that we were doing. But most of right. them, most of the reds we did do fine on. And I think there were a couple that stumped us. At least one stumped us for sure. Yeah, there was one, and Don knew the name of it. It may have been Stairway to Heaven, but I'm not really certain because, again, these are these are trails that are a little bit out of my class, right? Because, again, I may have seen these, I may have seen people on them, but I haven't driven them myself because I just don't have the rig for it yet. Um, we we got to get that LG on, on its uh, on its food supply here, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. It right. Needs to I mean, grow. Look, Believe me, I've got plans for that thing. Uh, they just haven't quite come to fruition just yet. Um. <laughs> or maybe way driver, like a lot driver. Oh, right there. Okay. Now you're climbing. Okay, straight now. Your back's going to start climbing. It'll level you out. Good. That might do it. That will do it. Unless he slides. Absolutely. You got clear now. Keep it hard, yeah. Yee hee! <laughs> right, Rear passenger is going to start climbing, I think. But yeah, Understood. anyway, so um, Driver. I'm sorry, passenger. that that yeah. notch that we tried to get you guys up that that proved to yep, uh, to passenger. defeat both of you. I think you both tried passenger. it. Um, <laughs> we couldn't get ourselves in the right, I don't know, right orientation for some reason. We kept yeah. trying to get our rear ends over and yeah, somehow we just never really got squared up right on it. Yeah, yeah. And I, I believe that's a red line. So, I mean, there's no shame, there, right? <laughs> and I think I think we did got stones. Uh, I'm not. I, some of these I remember us talking about, but then, you know, I'm not positive. So anyway, there yeah, were a bunch I, of reds, and at least one or two of them got us. So, so on on that side of the property, Fern Ridge is probably my favorite trail because it's so varied. Right? There's some really crazy rock stuff, even for, you know, higher end or lower end jeeps. Right? Um, I've been through it in my LJ on 31s. Right, but it was a heck of a challenge, and I needed a good spotter. Let's back it up again. But uh, yeah, so so that was we we spent I think most of the morning out there, and then I don't actually think we touched much out much else on the Western Reserve after that. I we got through we all the blacks and yeah. the reds. That's what I recall. I mean, we did the, all kinds of things in the Fern uh, the Fern Ridge area, and yeah. then you're like. Okay, we're going to go to the Eastern Reserve, and that, that was a bit of a trek to get all the way yeah, back so, and all the way back out. Then we head yeah. over to, like, B-Line, right? That's a, that's a black trail? Yeah, so after we left Timbertown, we went down to, uh, it was B-Line, and that's a black one, trail number 53. Um... And uh, you guys had some fun on that one. We, we took a couple optional obstacles. Uh, again, I think we got some video Keep up there. Straight. You're good. Um, gonna drop that was, away. I thought it was fun. What did you guys think of Beeline? Oh, for sure it was fun. I mean, the, the, optional, the optional reds were cool. We, you know, we're, we're kind of, when we're going wheeling, we're kind of always just looking for, like, okay, what, is there an offshoot somewhere? Like, you know, where, where, does, where is this thing at? We sure. went to Lower Anthracite, and uh, I liked that one a lot. We went down it. Yeah, that one was sort of by chance. We were just kind of tooling around to see what we could find. Uh, we found Upper Anthracite, which I have been through, which is a very hard blue, right? And you're like, well, what's Lower Anthracite? Well, it's black on the trail or on the map. Let's try it. <laughs> so we parked my Jeep. No, my, we didn't. That, that's right. The second day we parked my Jeep. The, this, this day we didn't have it. You went down it. And the whole time you're like, this would be really fun to go up. 
Yes. <laughs> because it's going down like through you know parts of a of a creek. Um, yep. And so you yeah, have you know some, trail, sometimes there's a little bit of water in there. Sometimes it's not like dropping off these, these you know pretty good sized you know boulders. Um, and it, I was just I was like I think I was giddy and I was just like laughing and just enjoying it. It was a really fun fun uh, downhill. Um, and I, we got to the end, and I was like, oh, man, we better have time. You know, we'll be, we'll be next. Well, it wasn't the next day, day after that. That I was like, hey, like, we need to go up this. Bottom, right? and, you know, when, when you know, snow is melting or big rains come, like, they literally turn into, like, foot-deep creeks, right? I mean, like, legit, fast-moving water. On day two at AOAA, listeners Jerry and Matt joined us with Nate leading the way. It's really hard to judge on film, but this is one hell of a steep climb. This is the upper end of upper tax tree. bracket. Had Gary made it past the entrance, this is what he would have had to get through to exit. You can hear how out of breath I am. That's what it took just to get here. And then the next day, Thursday, we got to get back out on the trail again and this time i was like so excited because we got to go back up lower anthracite and get back into the uh um the the small little waterfalls and getting in there gary what what do you remember about about getting to that trail i remember it was kind of slippery with the water yeah uh and some of the some of the obstacles were uh, they were deceivingly difficult like they looked easy and man, if you didn't hit them right, you just slipped right off of them, right? And so, you know, I, I think you and I, we were, we didn't, we didn't have too much trouble. I mean, we kind of bombed up. You really, you know, ultra forward it, of course. Um, and then <laughs> uh, I was riding with, I was riding with you that day. Uh, you and I had trouble getting over the same obstacle, but we took a different line. Yes. Um, and then we were walking back down because we heard he was stuck. So yeah. And I made it all the way to the top. Like, nobody even radioed to me. That's like, hey, slow yes. down. We got somebody stuck. Well, I get you were already the, there, I think. I was all the way up to the top, and I was like, hey, where are you guys? <laughs> yeah, I think I think you made it to the top while Gary and I were still getting over that obstacle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's I was, how quick you were tearing up it. <laughs> I was boogie. It was, it was a, I was having, again, I was just, like, giddy with laughter because it was just, like, yeah, that's obstacle. the obstacle. Yeah, Nate, Nate's right. That was that one gave us some fits, and we finally got a line and got up it. Poor Jerry, though. Uh, I don't know how yes, Jerry did it. That's oh my right. gosh. He got... He, this, this was the exact definition of between a rock and a hard place. I mean, like, <laughs> he wedged his front end in a rock, and then he was trying to, like, get up it, but his rear end pivoted over, and literally he had one inch of front and back movement between yeah. the rock in the front and a tree behind him. It was yeah. he, uh, could so, go, he could go nowhere. He, could go he, nowhere. he got himself completely... Just yeah. Stuck. Yeah. So he he's got a built YJ. If I yeah, it's a yeah. YJ. Mm -hmm. um, so if you could imagine a space just a little bigger than a YJ <laughs> between no, a, a rock kidding. and a it's tree, 
And then we kind of explored a little bit and did some other trails. Um, I think the blue trail we ended up on was trail number 39 because that's in the right region. I, again, I didn't like jot this down. We just kind of picked it up because we were exploring and we're like, oh, look, a blue trail. And we took it. And um, again, this is a trail I hadn't been on before. I've been on lots of blue trails on the Eastern Reserve and I just have never been on this particular one. Uh, but it was fun. We had that. This is the one that had that fun hill climb at the end. Which I, I'm sure you remember. <laughs> oh, I remember the hill climb, and I was, you know, we had to show people like the right line, right, like because of those roots and that rock. I am surprised they still rate that a blue. That that definitely is transitioning black. That part. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was this big slab of a rock at the bottom that uh, I think the two of you made it over okay, but when I tried to get over, I just couldn't. I couldn't get enough traction to climb up, and we had to winch me up that. Which which uh, was kind of, it was almost the inaugural inaugural use of my, my winch. That winch is relatively new. So uh, I finally got to use it for something useful other than just uh, pulling stumps out of the backyard. <laughs> now, this, this was the area where, another, um, another you know, we, we all, we all kind of struggled up. Well, oh, there was, there was a, there was a big rock uh, that was like a left, uh, following a left turn, right? And I think, I think I was yeah. the last one at that point. You know, Gary, you were trying to do this rock a for a little bit, while yeah, and, and couldn't do it. Then there was like Straight a slope. Now, now. You know, you went up that right and there. Jerry went up that. He, I, I think Jerry just went right up it. Um, and then, or no, Nate, you were before Jerry, but uh, you had a little bit of trouble on, on getting there. You know, getting get some momentum and throttle did spots. it. But I remember after that, once you cleared that rock, it still got, it was still challenging yes. after that. And, you know, I... I I think I think you probably learned some new like momentum skills in in your in your Jeep um, that uh, you know you're you're kind of maybe a little bit more used to like slow and steady and kind of like yeah. playing it cautious and and I and I, I totally get it but uh, I I have never been a high horsepower throttle down wheeler it's just yeah. not my style right, right? it's right. probably the reason my LJ survives on the trails that I run it on because yeah. I gas is never the answer for me it's always no, it. position. You know, get a good spotter, get the right line, ease over it, right? Like, I've got a Dana 30 and a factory Dana 44 rear with a track lock, not even a true locker. It's a limited slip, right? And and I, I take this LJ places that I probably have no business being in. This might be one of those places. Was, I think this was, but but I think it was good, right? Like, cause like I said, I think I think you kind of like added a new skill to your repertoire over here. And yeah, and, uh, yeah. I and, I still want to see the video you got because I think it it must have been uh, must have been interesting. Oh, it was it was definitely was it was it was great. <laughs> um, you know, it was it was a challenging climb, um, but you know, and, and 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 you did the right thing first to me, which was, you know, you you did it in the way that you felt comfortable first. You know, trying to find the right line. You know, working the obstacle a little bit, trying to get the traction that you needed by going slow and steady. And at, at, at that point, we got to a place where it's like, well, we don't think that's going to work. So it's either yeah. like, you know, try a new style, like get a little bit of momentum going and, and, you know, work your way up it, you know, or we're going to pull some winch line. And you're like, oh, I'm going for it. And you hit the gas and it was awesome. I'm like I tried to jump out of the way, um, <laughs> you know, you, you hit you hit a bump and you just like you just you kept the momentum going and it carried you all the way to the top. And I, yeah, uh, I it just was, remember it was cheering. one of these. One of those a couple feet at a time, right? Yeah. You'd, you'd, you'd back up a, a couple feet, then you'd get some momentum and get a couple feet forward, and then you'd go back a couple feet, and then, yeah, yeah, it was, and it didn't look that crazy, right? It was some dirt and some roots. It wasn't even rocky. After wheeling, we had a chance to interview Dave Porzi, the director of AOAA, for our podcast. You can hear this interview in episode 392. Afterwards, he took us out to see the new Mammoth Trail. We got a little bit of a late start because we had stayed over in uh, AOAA 
and then we relocated uh, same day. But it's only like 30 miles between AOAA and Roush. It's, yeah. it's not real far. So, uh, but by the time we got all broken down and got moved over there, we basically had a half day, I think, didn't we, Gary? By the time we got on the trails, it was probably 11 or noon or something. Yeah, it was a, it was a bit of a late start, but, but that was all right. We still, got, we still got a lot of wheeling done. We got a lot done. Well, I remember, so we decided to run the northeast property. So we went across the street uh, to the northeast property. And uh, in no time flat, we ran into the F trails. So there's an F that's a green uh, that connects a whole bunch of other Fs that just refer to them as F star. They have a whole bunch of numbers. There's F1 through, I can't remember how many Fs. Uh, and those, those were actually pretty challenging. You remember those? They had some pretty gnarly rock climbs in them. There were some that, that stumped me for sure. I mean, like I, I got down in there and, and tried to find some some, cl- some uh, climbs and it was very challenging for sure. Yeah, so those were... We spent a considerable amount of time because in, in typical fashion, Gary, you would find, oh, there's another F. Let's try this one. There's another F. Let's try this one. So we worked our way through all of the Fs, I think, and uh, and they were they were pretty gnarly. They were reds, um, and and in uh, that's a oh yeah. So uh, Roush Creep, like AOAA, has uh, four classifications. They have green, which is super easy. Uh, they have blue, which is I don't know moderately difficult. They have black, which is difficult, and they have red, which is beyond normal difficult. Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> reds are reds are hard. <laughs> Thank you. 
And I also remember on the Fs, I remember that one Jerry got himself way uh, skied, remember? And, um, and he had to get the winch line. Yes. The whole the, the mat, uh, tire was way up. Yeah. yeah, there was a bit of a tricky line that you had to... You had to enter uh, passenger and then kind of cross yourself and get on this like thin like rock. But it was really important you got in the right part of that fin because yeah. if you missed, you waved really big. And I don't know. Eventually, I'm not sure what happened because I'd gotten you'd been up, I got up, and Jerry, Jerry got himself all kinds of <laughs> confabbed and finally said, "Just pull line." Right. I think I think he said you know F star a few times. He, I think he said F star. Yeah, <laughs> he was just that one was giving him no end degree. And there was there was one on outer limits that was pretty crazy steep. I do remember that you were trying to get up that. You remember that one? Yeah, that's yeah. the one that kind of like. Uh, cr- uh, well, wait, was that on the? Oh was no, th- th- this was before. That was before we went over to BFG. Okay, so wait, I, and, I just want to make sure. Talisman and BFG, we hadn't made it over to you. Oh, see, I was still thinking about, oh, I was thinking about uh, Talisman. Wait, Outer Limits, I'm not remembering that one. What was? It was down by the road, and it had, uh, it had, it had the one rock face, and you had to choose which one you wanted to go on. Oh, that, all right, you could go right, center, or left. The right was real hard. The most right was real hard. Yeah. And I think and I went up the center, right? The left right? was the easiest, but it was still not easy. Before, though. Right. But yeah. jumping back but jumping back to BFG, we didn't do the whole thing. We kind of cut into it, you know, pit midway through. Uh, just That's that's kind of just how the trails work out for where we were. Because we crossed out of Talisman. Yeah. We, yeah, inter- yeah, we intercepted it. Right, we intercepted it. Uh, but we still got, you know, two. well, we got three, I think, really good obstacles out of it. That one by the tree and then the next one up. Um, yeah. It, it was, you know, quite, quite challenging on, on the normal trail side. But then it also, like on the other side of a tree, had this grand rock face to try to climb up. And, uh, you know, I kind of looked at it, and at first, you know, as you look at it and you, and you spot yourself, I think, I think typically you see things as easier than they actually are. And, uh, and I, I certainly did. I thought I was going to be able to just, you know, walk up it. I thought it. I mean, obviously, I knew it was steep. It was very steep, um, but I just thought like it was flat enough that I could do one of two things: either just go ahead and, and crawl it, or I could give it some throttle and you know bounce my way up. But you know, it was it was substantially steep to where even as I gave it some throttle and tried to bounce my way up, um, I started getting sideways on it, and I'm like, ah, we're way too early in the trip for me to be doing things this risky. And so I, you know, I, I definitely, you know, didn't give it, you know, everything that I had. Um, but, uh, and so I ultimately, I backed out because it just, it was sending me sideways. Every, every time I would start climbing, it would send me one way or the other. And I had a little bit, little, uh, not enough as, not as, blah, I had not as much control as I would have wanted uh, for an obstacle that size. Um, so yeah, so that I backed out of it. That was something I noticed at Roush. Um, like that was rated black, but there were definitely reds that you could, like what you yeah. tried to climb over there was not black. No, it was definitely harder than that. That, that would not be on the black part of the FG. Right. Yeah, and then, um, you know, on the next day, uh, so that that was Friday when we first got over to, to Roush. Um, Saturday, um, we had a lot more people with us. So, um, Max and Haley showed up, and uh, uh, Todd and Krista showed up. Uh, Matt and George showed up. <laughs> so we had a lot more people with yeah. us. And like you said, that was a good thing that some of these trails had, you know, you could pick your poison a little bit. You know, we had some some blues and blacks, or we had some blues and blacks and reds um, that were possible. So uh, we ran a huge number of trails. Um, on Saturday, uh, and, uh, we even had uh, Todd and Krista. We got them on the wheel for, for part of the day, and they they both learned how to rock crawl. They enjoyed it. Oh my god! Cool. Then we did that wild hill climb 
well, no, I should say you and Max did the yeah, great yeah. hill climb, and that's really, that's a red. It was it was really yeah it was it was hard, but um, it was deceiving, right? I mean, like you know, th- there was a line you know, going up with that you just thought you could you could make it, but the t- the tiniest of bumps in the rock, if it's catching both the front and the rear, that's enough to make it to where you can't get over it. Um, you know, there were places where I even tried to you know, bump my way up, and it just couldn't do it. And and you know, after, after Max, you know, watching me, you know, fumble around for for a good amount of time, he's like, "Hey, Gary, I can tell you what the line is." I'm like, "Oh, okay, <laughs> fine." Yeah, he wanted to see if he could figure it out yourself. May, maybe. And then, he, so he basically told me, you know, "Hey, I was I was a foot too far, you know, drive uh, passenger." He's like, "Just go another foot, driver, and it'll it'll hook up." And Todd was pretty excited, I know, uh, when I was, because um, he actually is a minister, and he married uh, my niece, Elena, and his son, um, Jared, uh, last summer. And so, uh, and I'd met, I'd met him when uh, Elena uh, graduated from William and Mary back, when was that, 2019, I think, she graduated. So, anyway, um, and I'd mentioned to Todd a year ago, hey, you know, we're going to be coming out there and everything. So <laughs> he was all, he was worried that we weren't going to come. Like right. Maybe there'd be some reason when I said, Hey Todd, you know, we're coming. He was so excited. And, and so, um, and I promised him that, you know, we teach him to rock crawl. Yeah. Getting down. Remember we went around and got down into some, uh, into some canyon and, uh, it was gnarly. I mean, like, well, getting down into it wasn't, wasn't a problem, but then there was one trail coming out of that. Maybe he can do it. That I looked at it and I thought, well, maybe it's doable. Like the okay. entrance to it was probably the most challenging part. And I think I think Todd was with me in the rig for this one. I think he came along. Todd um, did switch and switch yeah. rigs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, midday I think or whatever. Right after lunch, right? We we had lunch after down lunch. Yeah, I let him drive quite a bit in the morning. I started driving and I put him on the wheel and start teaching him. Yeah. And then uh, after lunch, he went with you. Uh huh. Tom had a problem. Oh yeah. Remember Tom? Uh, remember when? Remember the other guys were coming the other way, and then Tom broke, and then they broke, and everyone was broke. Going both ways for a little bit. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Tom. Uh, Tom broke his driver's side U joint and sheared off uh, some ring gear teeth. It turned out he mentioned when he got home. When he got home and figured it out. I'm like, wow, yeah. Wow. So, uh, so Tom's rig took it. Was it Colin for the? It hey might have been no. It was shoot the moon. I think that all that happened. On. Yeah. And then because yeah, we, so that's Tom, that's where we came across another group that was coming the other direction. Hey George, they had they had a break Gary. in their group also. Will America. They did. Will so we were America. kind of like stuck there all. Everybody was and, all we, and we were going opposite directions yeah. with yeah. with Will a rig broken on each party for a little while. <laughs> so needless to say, we were delayed for a little while. That's right. Uh, they got they 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 got moving again, and then we moved. Well, but then there, when we got. Uh, uh, I think Tom had to take it out of four-wheel drive. I can't remember. He he was having trouble, uh, and so that kind of put an end to our day. I think we, we did the crawling for the cops, uh, and we topped out. And at that point, uh, you know, Tom's rig was in bad shape, and suddenly Jerry had problems, right? And then we find out that Jerry's steering pump has gone out, and. This is not good. Jerry has no manual steering at all. He right. Has, it's all uh, high. Then on Sunday, well, Todd and Krista had to go back home. They came over for the day. Uh, well, Tom Tom was out. His rig was broke. <laughs> and plus, I think George said he had to get back for, uh, oh, it was Father's Day. And then we went to Rock Creek, which I guess can be underwater. And that must be really exciting. That uh, was really hard with with water underneath the rocks. It was nothing but a giant boulder field. Yeah, it's just a huge boulder field. Like, really long. Like, I don't know how long. Uh, half a mile, maybe? Probably half a mile. Yeah. Of, and 
I landed on a boulder and it smashed the uh, my you know, my removable uh, mud flaps. It smashed my receiver for them. Oh right. It's all mangled. I still gotta fix it. And then that took us to Death Trap. So so Rock Creek is a red, and then we go right to Death Trap. Well, that's a red. Well, it's a name Death Trap. You, it, it better be a red. <laughs> it's not gonna be named. It's not gonna be named Death Trap and be a green, Gary. Now, was, de was it Death Trap or Crawl Daddy that had that? You tried so many times to get that one mine, and it just would not cooperate. Every time your tire would go up on the tree, and you're on your passenger side, and your drivers would go way up in the air, and yeah. no matter, you eventually had to just reset and try a different mine. the one that were at the end of it I had to go in this big V-notch rock climb type thing that I actually had to like I had to hit it pretty hard to kind of bounce my way up and over it Then we did Crawler's Ridge. That was just a blue. Yeah. That was mostly just getting out of here. After we went, we had a chance to interview Bernie Gardula, the director of Roush Group, for a podcast. You can hear this interview in episode 393. 